Che è? Some kind of cheese. Maybe it's butter. Mushroom! My god, let us dream! Ah, no, yeah. the soy sauce! Oyster sauce? <laughs> Do you even know what carbonara means? There's nothing Italian in there. I think no nice crying. Welcome to the Pasta Queen reaction to the most viral pasta videos on social media. Let's see. I hope it's good this time. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the first one. Let's not get too excited. We're gonna be completely impartial. We're not here to judge at all. That's not what we do. We're not about drama at all. Goodness. Okay. Hold on. That, no, no, that's the in, that's the... What is this? <laughs> Uno che taglia bacon. I thought this was a commercial, you know, the ad. No, no. Well, this is very relaxing music. We're very relaxed right okay. now. No, 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 it's just bacon. bacon. No, okay, there's okay. not a lot to talk about. Exactly. Yeah. What's the title? An aunt from Italy gave the recipe we cook often and still want. Stunning pasta. Okay. I'm excited. Why would the aunt from Italy use bacon? No. Maybe pancetta, guanciale. Si, Some prosciutto, maybe. Sausage. And it's still cooking. Okay, oh, so yeah. she did, did the meat, now there's another thing happening here. Pian, prendi il tuo tempo. I want to say, you can always use extra virgin olive oil. It's yes. always healthier for you. I don't know if it's I'm used to the TikTok speed or whatever. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of, of a... Sick. ...ADHD phenomena here. This is an ant from Italy. Sounds suspicious to me. Chopped parsley. But when, how much parsley is going on? Caps what, what was that? Che? That's some kind of cheese. No, that's, maybe it's butter. But this is viral. Ma sono le farfalle? Sì. Big yeah. error. No bow ties, no farfalle pasta with something like this. Actually, don't even do the sauce like this. It doesn't feel like an authentic Italian from an, from an Italian there's, entity. There's nothing Italian in there. Bow ties are used for pasta salads. They're not really an official shape. Let's go for the second one. Cheesy and amazing it is. Oh, Girl, that it looks good nice. to, as a finish, oh, right? Wow. Did she put scallion on it? This is one of those pasta dishes that I call like emergency. Emergency more than... No, but first let's look at it. So she's making a garlic yeah, oil. Fine. Beautiful crispy garlic chips. Hold on. Why are we doing garlic really chips with the pasta? Garlic. Guys, when the garlic overcooks and you burn the oil with it, I, I think you're gonna have to really, really like research it. I don't, I do not think that's healthy. More so garlic. That butter is melted. I'm gonna add in my soy sauce. This no, the soy sauce. Oyster sauce? But no oyster sauce. She's even sauce. saying it. The Italians are turning away. She did it on purpose. She knew what she, she was doing. Us. Did she put oyster sauce? <laughs> with the soy sauce? So this is a fusion pasta, okay? Fine. I mean, I can see how What happened with the garlic oil? No, she's Parmigiano. not. Parmigiano. oyster sauce, no, she lo vuoi mettere. The oyster sauce, with the soy sauce, a bit of parmigiano. Chips, spring onions, and then add more Parmigiano cheese. I want to see her face one second. No, <laughs> the camera had a break in between before the film on the other side. They had to replace the actor. <laughs> no, no, it no. I said next. No, Gordon. Gordon. No, you, hold you, on a no, second. What is Gordon Ramsay doing? We love Gordon. He's nice. So. Carbonara in under ten minutes. My Gordon, let us dream! Wow. He's a Michelin star chef, yeah. and he so obviously knows how to do the carbonara. So he's making a Cornish carbonara. <laughs> Mushroom! What about some peas as well? Peas! Oh no, Gordon! Oh no, Gordon! This is a stir fry, it's not a carbonara. No, Chili no parmigiano or no grana padano. No. We use pecorino. This is supposed to be probably it's good at the end, but it's not carbonara. Do you even know what carbonara means? He put a disclaimer at the beginning because he knew it was gonna get a whole humongous community of Italians raging. <laughs> this is more closer to a hunter sauce, so it's not necessarily wrong. 
It's just not a carbonara. You know, we get really upset about these things, you know. Carbonara is like an emblem of Rome. If you don't use any milk, what happens, the actual carbonara gets sort of very sticky, cloy, heavy. Okay, so this is not anymore the hunter sauce, the boscaiola. Now this is a carbonara that had a bad affair with the hunter. <laughs> A nice spoon of creme fraiche. Creme fraiche? Ma no, no! No! No, the creme fraiche, I mean, the one thing is that you add like little ingredients here and there, a little bit extra spice, maybe a different type of bacon, but with the creme fraiche, the eggs and the parmigiano, and now we have mushroom, fungi, peas. Garlic. I think no nice crying. Guess what next? What next? Some fresh peas, <laughs> fresh frozen. Fresh, fresh frozen. I'm crying. <laughs> I mean, I want to see the end result. Really, I do. Now we're curious. Now we're committed to stay until the end of the video. Gordon, let's have a looky looky. Sticks on the ceiling, it's done. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. It's absolutely not true, by the way. You do not do that. When it sticks, it means it's too gluey. The starch is oversaturated. It's mushy and it's overcooked. I think he's excellent at doing the British cuisine, the steaks, the burgers, but not the pasta. No carbonara. No carbonara, Gordon. Shepherd's pie approved. <laughs> Pasta alla carbonara, one of the four Roman pastas and one of the most famous pastas in the world. But did you know that it's actually not that old of a true? Very true, very true. There is a published recipe that predates- Cacio e ovo, cheese and egg. This guy knows his stuff, huh? Oh, oh, oh. finally! <laughs> Bravo! This is what real cheese looks like. Parmigiano reggiano, ragazzi, parmigiano reggiano. Cacio ovo it was pecorino and eggs. Very old shepherd's recipe, yeah, you true. know, people used to have those kind of ingredients, the raw ingredients with them. No, the pare is unnecessary. Why? Yeah, the idea of substituting the fat from the guanciale, but this is... But you don't need it, you got exactly. the fats from the cheeses. Yeah. The garlic also is an added inapplicable. The cheese and pepper, sometimes all you need is the most delicious, simple flavors. Simple. This is kind of like a mixture of a couple of techniques over also and with the aglio, olio and breadcrumbs and stuff. It's not gonna be bad. The ultimate test is the taste test. Does it taste good? Does the palate and the combination of ingredients actually hit your palate, satisfies your soul, makes your family and friends happy? That's the ultimate, ultimate test. That's actually a pretty interesting thing. I mean, yes, yeah, tempering, yeah, it's tempering the eggs. Exactly. I love this idea. It's really good, but there's so much parsley, too much parsley. Sometimes a little bit of an essence, a little bit of aroma of these very intense plants. It's just enough. There's a lot going on here. No, 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 Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to see how real authentic pasta is made. Stay gorgeous. Cook good pasta.